Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry I haven't actually been uploading. Kinda got lazy. But I'm getting back into the grind, so don't worry. That one viewer. Anyway, um are the default apps that come on your phone any good? Like, why do we always ignore them and install Google Chrome? Kinda like on Windows. Actually, Edge has actually gotten good now, so. Talk trash all you want, but. Chrome, I. The only thing, the reason why I don't use Edge is because you can't actually sync your Google account. I think that's the only reason people actually use Chrome. Because it's just a storage hoarding, RAM hoarding thing. Like, seriously, I literally coded my own app to start up on Windows to delete Chrome cache because it's ridiculous. Um. Like, for example, Sam, like, if you have a Samsung phone, like, the default apps, like, you know, Samsung Store, the Samsung Internet Browser, you know, that kind of stuff. And so I want to see what it's actually, like, how bad is it. Now, I have three browsers on my phone. So, uh, super Fast Browser, Internet, and Chrome. Now, I don't think this app is what I'm, is the correct one, but... I remember back in the day where 4G was just a thing, and when you live in the middle of nowhere, you only get like two bars, and it sucked. It was pretty much worse than 3G. We all remember those days, right? <laughs> there was a browser, and this one wasn't it, but I can't find it. <coughs> I might, it might have been called 4G Fast Browser or something like that, but what it did was it took websites... And it will take pictures and st and stuff like that out and only leave text so that if you had a slow connection, it would, uh, you can even customize if you want to take pictures out and stuff like that in the browser. <clears throat> so it would load faster. But it wouldn't be necessarily HTML. You know what I mean? It would actually, like, you can choose what you want to be on the page. And sometimes it wouldn't work. But, um, yeah, this one doesn't <coughs> have it, but it's the closest I could find. So... And a search provider, obviously, I'm using DuckDuckGo. <laughs> and cookies, enable cookies for all sites, which you can turn off. And tell websites to not track me. And this even, this little app right here even has... <coughs> sorry. Even has app lock enabled. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty neat. Super fast browsers on 4.3.1, uh, 13, sorry. And you can even have it set to delete all your cache and private data every time you exit, which is pretty cool. And you can tell this app has been in construction for a long time because of that eBay logo. So if I try to load Facebook, I don't have a SIM card. It's it's pretty slow, but as you can see, it, I mean, I don't know if this is actually what it looks like, but it's pretty, it's okay. I don't know if this is actually the right one, but Samsung Internet. You know what, not gonna lie, it's actually pretty good. It's just, uh, I'm not a big fan of the UI, but that's, I mean, it's super functional. Like, you ad block, like this has ad blocker built in. I am really liking how ad blocks are starting to actually be implemented in mobile browsers. That's pretty cool. You can even do add-ons for this, even though there's only, like, three. <laughs> Amazon Assistant, which is cool. I haven't seen another browser on a phone that could do that. But if you really want to know the best browser for Windows and mobile, I'm gonna let you know. It's, it's, I have my top five. Unless they go garbage again, then I'll make another video. But it's really just Internet Explorer, not Internet Explorer, Edge. Edge has actually gotten a lot better. We use, like that one version, it's actually gotten really good. You can use Firefox, on Windows, you can use Firefox and Google Chrome add-ons, which is actually really cool. You get the best of both worlds. So, um, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. And so, yeah, the top five would be, not in order, but, like, just which ones? Uh, would be Chrome, obviously, Edge, Firefox, three, Tor, and then Brave. Brave is actually a really good browser. It just depends on who you are. I'm sticking with Chrome. Because since I do like Google business and everything, I use Google for everything, I kind of need everything to be in sync. I don't know if Brave has that feature, but I'm pretty sure only Google Chrome has that feature because it's, it's Google Chrome. I'm pretty sure if somebody else tried to implement it, I think they would get in trouble. See, every day I go to browsing history, clear that, download history, 
and cached image and files just from today is 300 megabytes. Uh, and if you don't clear it, it's probably gigs on your computer. It's insane. Alright, it's, 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 it's a little slower. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a lot slower, but it's still pretty good. Um, it just depends on what I want to use the browser for. Chrome for naughty. Internet for uh, school stuff, and then super fast, bro actually super fast browser for school stuff because you know school Wi-Fi sucks. And yeah, I was joking by the way. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, don't forget.